Hello, in this video we're going to do utility maximization and we're going to do three examples with three different types of utility functions, a Cobb-Douglas, a perfect substitute, and a perfect complement. Let's start here with a Cobb-Douglas utility function. Utility equals the following. The consumer has $90 to spend, the price of good X is $3, and the price of good Y is $6. Solve for the Utility Maximizing Consumption Bundle. First thing we'll do is form the budget constraint, which is going to be the consumer's income, $90, and it's going to equal the price of good X times units of good X plus the price of good Y times units of good Y. Next step is to get the marginal utility of good X. We're going to take the partial derivative of the utility function on top here with respect to X. So this one third here on the exponent here on the X term comes down in front. Then we're going to subtract one from that exponent. So one third minus one. And then we don't do anything with the Y term. And that will simplify very nicely down to the following. One third times three is just one. And then one third minus one leaves us with X raised to the minus two thirds power. And again, we don't do anything with the Y term that just hangs around. The next step is to get the marginal utility of good y, taking the partial derivative of the utility function, but this time with respect to good y. So the exponent on the y term comes down in front, so it's going to be 2 thirds times 3. And then we're going to subtract 1 from that exponent on the y term. So 2 thirds times 3 just leaves us with 2. And then if we subtract 1 from the exponent on the y term, we're left with y raised to the minus 1 third power. Next step is to form the utility maximizing condition where the marginal rate of substitution, which is given as the marginal utility of good X divided by the marginal utility of good Y, that will all equal the ratio of the price of good X to the price of good Y. So now we're going to make our substitutions into this formula. We got the marginal utility of good X and good Y. We know the prices of each good, so let's make our substitutions. And now we have this step after we make our substitutions. Just rewriting that last step. Okay, so now we're just going to simplify this. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cross multiply this 2 times 3. Uh, it gives us 6 over here. And then I'm going to follow the rules of exponents. This x to the minus 2 thirds, I'm going to move that into the denominator. And then this y to the minus 1 third, I'll move that into the numerator. So after making those moves, that x to the minus 2 thirds is just x to the 2 thirds. And that y to the minus one-third, if we move that into the numerator, it now becomes y to the one-third power. And then we can just add up the exponents on the y and x terms. And so we get y divided by x equals 1. Solving for y, y equals x. The next step is we're going to plug this result into the budget constraint. Here's our budget constraint that we got earlier. So where we have a y, I'm just going to replace that with x. After all, y equals x. So making our substitution, and now simplifying, we got 90 equals 9x, dividing through by 9, x equals 10, so the consumer should buy 10 units of good x to maximize utility. And since y equals x, y will equal 10. And so x equals 10 and y equals 10 is our utility maximizing consumption bundle. Now let's look at perfect substitutes. Here's a perfect substitutes utility function. Consumer, once again, has $90 to spend. Price of good X is $3. Price of good Y is $6. We want to solve for the utility maximizing consumption bundle. First thing I'll do is form the budget constraint. So as before, dealing with the same income and same prices, the budget constraint will take this form. Next step is we're going to get the marginal utility of good X, which is just going to be 3. And the marginal utility of good Y is just going to be 9. And now the next step, I want to take the marginal utility of good X and divide it by the price of good X. So 3 divided by the price of good X, which is 3, equals 1. So utility increases by 1 from every dollar spent on good X. And now we do a similar thing for good Y. We're going to take the marginal utility of good Y, which is 9, divide it by the price of good Y, which is 6, and we get 1.5. So here we see utility increases by 1.5 from every dollar spent on good Y. Because the marginal utility per dollar is greater for good Y than good X, 1.5 versus 1, the consumer should spend all her income on good Y to maximize utility. Here's our budget constraint. 
So we're going to set X equal to zero. The consumer is not going to buy any units of good X. So X is zero. And now we just solve for Y. Dividing three by six, Y equals 15. And as we said before, the consumer will not buy any units of good X. Good Y is always the better deal here. So the utility maximizing consumption bundle is Y equals 15, X equals zero. Moving on to our last problem, perfect complements. Here is our perfect complements utility function. Utility is the minimum of 5x or 2y. The consumer has $90 to spend, so same prices, uh, same income as before. Forming the budget constraint, same as the prior two problems. To maximize utility, we're going to take what's in parentheses here and set it equal to one another. That has to hold. And so now we can solve this either for x or y. Uh, I decided to solve it for y. So dividing through by 2, y equals 5x divided by 2, or 5 divided by 2 is 2.5. So y equals 2.5x. And now we're going to plug this into the budget constraint up here where we see y. We're going to replace that with 2.5x. So making our substitution and now simplifying the right-hand side, we're going to get 90 equals 18x, dividing through by 18, x equals 5, so the consumer should buy 5 units of good x. And as for units of good y, we're going to take this 5 and plug it into this y equation over here. So y equals 25 divided by 2, or 12.5. So to maximize utility, the consumer should buy 5 units of good x and 12.5 units of good y. Okay, that's it.